With the P10 launching way lower back in March 2017, it is safe to count on that Huawei I has some other cell phone flagship up its metaphorical sleeves, and it's geared up to be unveiled as quickly as 2017 rolls over. And Huawei I's P11 that is what we're calling it, it makes experience already has plenty of rumors and net rumblings circling it. The first is that Huawei I's brand new top stop flagship is expected to launch at MWC 2018. For the ones that do not already have it on their calendar, subsequent years MWC takes area from February 26th and ends on March 1st. Now not convinced? Well, as initially reported by Android Central, Bruce Lee, Vice President of Hawaii I Handsets, stated, in the future, we are able to probably release the devices at Cell International Congress. So there. 2D, the Hawaii IP11 is anticipated to be a drastic layout departure from 2017's providing. Must rumors be believed, the P11 is about to characteristic an 18,9 display at the front, the equal aspect to area thing ratio as Samsung's Galaxy S8 and the iPhone X. An upgraded digital camera is likewise said to be at the cards, too. That was only a quick rundown of what to expect of Hawaii's P11 handset, and given that is early days we are at no function but to compare the two fashions, however check again as soon as we pay attention any legit facts. You may read greater about what to anticipate of Hawaii's P11, right here. Hawaii Eyes P9 become a twin digital camera marvel so top that it took us unawares last 12 months. We were impressed, recommending it over a few pricier flagship opposite numbers for those looking for a outstanding Digicam smartphone on a finances. This 12 months SP10 improves on its Leica branded forebear with a flashier design, speedier internals, and Android nougat, however is it well worth the improve? Permits cope with that Brexit-sized elephant inside the room first. At launch, Huawei's P10 costs pound a hundred more than its predecessor did again in May 2016. That's a hefty charge bump for a phone considering the identical camera is precisely similar to the unique. So what exactly are you buying here? The most important difference lies within the P10s stepped forward bodily appearance that's uncannily iPhone 7 like in layout. Hawaii I has tossed away that effortlessly scratched all metal silver lower back of the P9, in favor of a smooth, matte black rear that's a long way less complicated at the hands, and pocket. Whether that swanky redesign is worth the pound a hundred fee hike, even though, is arguable. Remember that fingerprint sensor on the back of the P9? Well, it's long past. Sadly, Hawaii I has opted for a front dealing with sensor embedded within the home button under the display screen. More functions may be brought with lengthy presses returning you to the home display screen and left swipes citing recent apps. It's a speedy means of navigation, however on-screen buttons may be enabled should you decide upon. Forged your eyes in the direction of the right edge of the smartphone and also you'll spot the power button and extent rocker at the same time as the left homes the SIM and micro SD card tray. There's not anything on top of the telephone, however you'll find a 3.5mm headset jack and USB Type-C charging port on the lowest. As for shades, the P10 is available in eight pretentiously named colorings, ceramic white, graphite black, incredible gold, rose gold, prestige gold, greenery, Fantastic Blue and Mystic Silver. Hawaii Eye's trendy handset additionally gets a healthy update to its internals, with the P10 packing an octamidal high silicon Kirin 960 clocked at 2.4 GHz paired with 4 GB of RAM. There's a healthy 6 4 GB of onboard storage and a micro SD slot so that you can add up to 256 GB of extra garage. That sounds magnificent but the absolutely astounding factor is how lots of a velocity increase this represents. 
A Geekbench 4 unmarried middle rating of 1,940 sees a bump of 12.4% at the same time as its multi-core processing fared a bit better at 6,299 for an improvement of 29%. For evaluation's sake, this is about the identical degree of overall performance as the Huawei i Mate 9, quicker than the OnePlus 3T. Samsung Galaxy S7 in multi-core and the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It's sincerely no slouch. Hawaii I truly has its variety crunching sport sorted out. What's even greater dazzling is how much Pix performance has advanced over the past year. It's nighttime and day in comparison with the Hawaii I P9. AGFX Bench Long Island 3.0 on-screen score of 5.0 FPS is undoubtedly stellar, a miles cry from the P9S meager 1.2 FPS. With this, you'll be whizzing round Asphalt 8's tracks without a hassle in any respect, and blasting away enemy ships in Skyforce, reloaded without seeing a unmarried dropped body.